Oh yeah. Zombie Clot. So now the Zombie Clot won't activate the the trigger. Once we have done that, we need another another script to trigger. So uh, we're gonna duplicate this. Go to the properties. Go to the properties. Then uh, uh, actions. Uh, we're gonna empty it. Uh, add new action. Uh, wait for event. New uh, start to. And then we're gonna uh, action. Uh, no, not throw weapon. Trigger event. Again, I screwed up. Uh, now I have the right one. We are need we need to call the lift uh, name, so we call this lift. So we we have to tag the lift with lift, also, and the bottom lift as well with lift. So they will all activate uh, both lift will activate at the same time. We have to make this trigger uh, toggle. I forgot that. So uh, once we touch the trigger, it will open the lift. Now we will make a boss spawn. So duplicate the script to trigger, drag it into the hole in the hole in the floor. Don't put it all the way on the floor. We sometimes they won't spawn then. So just uh, wait. Event is the same. So I just add a new uh, a new scri a scripted event, a spawn actor like we did with the clot. Only now we do zombie boss. So once we have that, we touch the trigger, the boss will spawn, the lift will uh, come up. And that's basically how you uh, make it. I'll show you another thing, how you can force the game to stay uh, the counter, the kill counter, on zero. For a missions map, I, I find it uh, more useful if it stays on zero. Because otherwise you will st see it uh, counting up and counting down all the time for n when you zombie spawn. You just make a small area outside your map. And we're gonna go to actor, find pawn, a real pawn, x pawn, monsters, Kyrie, KF monster, something like a zombie uh, cloth. We're gonna put that in the small, uh, in the small cube there. I know this is not the best way to do it, but it gets the job done. Just place small zombie clot in it. This will force the timer to stay in zero. So now you will never see uh, the counter going up or down. Just build all, and now you can see it actually a different uh, uh, zones. So it won't render as well. So it doesn't matter for your map. Now that we are back in the boss room, we're gonna uh, make a little uh, uh, bloat vomit uh, exploding when uh, the lift will activate. So we're gonna use script to trigger for this. Action, uh, wait for a fan, it's the same. We're gonna delete, delete the other one. Uh, add action, spawn actor. Gotta find it. Uh, it's uh, here. Now you want to look for a uh, bloat jet. Bloat, 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 ball jet, that's the one. Or bloat, ex ball explosion will also work. Just uh, put a lot, and then they will all explode uh, once you uh, hit the trigger. So now we are done with this, we can uh, basically just test the map. Alright, now we booted up the map. The first thing should uh, I'm gonna uh, enable cheese guard mode. Uh, pick up the weapons. First thing should be a message. The game starts. You see that? And now the zombies will spawn. Now I have all four spawned for some reason. I don't know. Guess now they didn't collide for some reason. Bam! There you see the bloat uh, explosion, and there is the boss. A 
this is basically how you can use scripted triggers for uh, for uh, like a mission map or for your normal map to make it like harder for if people are, like always camp you can make a scripted trigger there like it spawn a monster behind them so yeah that's basically my tutorial I hope it helped you out um, I also have a new trial map I don't know if you have played it but it's pretty cool and uh, probably my next tutorial will be um, how to make your own trial map it's basically a jumping map if you haven't ever played that oh, yeah, I forgot almost uh, you can always request uh, tutorials and I will try to uh, put them in the next uh, video bye bye